Welcome back to the channel, everybody. That is the cop car. I'll tell you, man, the junkyard, the junkyard's gonna get rich off of me. <sighs> There's another one in there. 9C1, don't look too bad. Got a little puck antenna on the back. Now I gotta go there and see if I can get it. <sighs> yeah, first world problems, I know. <laughs> Oh, look what I found. And it's still got the puck. I gotta figure out how to get that off. Yeah, more great removal of spotlights. Look at that crap. This is what I was talking about with the steering wheels. Look like people eat it. Not a whole lot left in here. Headlights pretty worn out. Looking to see if this thing has a little uh, relays, but it doesn't look like it does. Some of these cars have relays back here. There we go. Old highway patrol car. Not much left of it. Still got the little flag. You can see where the lights used to be. Paint starting to shine through. Mangled, mangled push bar. So that one's over there, and there's another one over here. You can tell this is Highway Patrol too. If you look at the paint, it's got the tan. But pretty well picked clean, nothing left. See, they used to have the push bar on the front at some point. You get another one. Not much left. Hey, here's a fourth one. See the tan here? The old troop number. But they're all picked clean. There's nothing left of these things. I even took the door. Yeah, starting to get late now. Boop. That's a bright spotlight. All right, guys, I really hope you appreciated checking out uh, the junkyard yet again. Apparently, I have an addiction to junkyards now because people keep turning in old cup cars. But here is the antenna. 
Uh, apparently it is an, uh, an Antenna Plus Millennium, whatever that means. So if you guys are looking for something like this, I don't know how well that you can even see that if it's focusing at all. But it says Antenna Plus right here, and then on the side it actually says Millennium. So let's talk about this puck real quick. I'm sure there's a couple of you out there that probably have zero access to one of these things or finding one in a junkyard or whatever, don't want to go to eBay and pay, you know, 30 bucks for one used or whatever. But if you wanted to make a replica, here's some measurements for you. So this thing, roughly diameter, is going to be just shy of four and a quarter. So it's going to be like right at four and a quarter across. Um, let's see, height wise, probably one and a quarter. Yeah, something like that. One and a quarter probably high. And it's got a little bit of a, basically a one inch angle here. I'm sure you guys can kind of figure that out off of dimensions, but give you somewhat of an idea, you know, it's basically a little over four inches across and, you know, one and a quarter high. So if you wanted to make one out of a block of wood or something just to, you know, make something kind of interesting, that would be, you know, kind of the dimensions you're going for, at least for this brand here. So Antenna Plus Millennium. So there you go. And then the back side of this, as you can see, just has a wire, it's flat. Um, if you wanted to mount this to a car, uh, every car that's out there that I've seen, this appears to be glued to it. There isn't like a screw on mount that you have with most, puck, or with all the other antennas, like the little stubby one that I have and the little uh, regular, I guess, metal antennas. But, and then it's got this little like rubber, I guess like little gasket kind of thing that's built into it to help keep the water out. So if you see one of these in the junkyard, you better have a scraper and it better not be the middle of winter because in the middle of winter, it's going to be really hard to get through the glue. Um, if it's the middle of summer and it's like 90 degrees out, the glue should be pretty soft and you can probably get through it pretty easily as you saw uh, while we were in the junkyard. So just figured I'd let you guys know about these little puck antennas, just in case you're curious. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking out the bunch of Crown Vicks that are out there floating around in the... Uh, I guess the 9C1 that was sitting out there. Anyway, um, appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I'm thinking about, you know, whether or not I want to mess with mounting this to the car and maybe cleaning it up because it's kind of dingy. So what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think a magnet's a good idea or should I cannibalize another antenna and maybe get a screw-on mount because I already have the screw-on mounts on my car. Um, I just, I, I don't want to glue this thing to my car. I'm not going to do it. Uh, but maybe magnets or something like that. The only thing with magnets is they'll, you know, as it vibrates and goes down the road, it's gonna kind of start working on the paint. And eventually, if it stays on there long enough, I'm worried that it'll dig through the paint and cause it to start to rust underneath. So I don't want to do that either. Uh, but I'm kind of curious what you guys' thoughts are. If you know, if you were gonna, <coughs> mm. a lot of dust in here. Um, if you guys were gonna, you know, do something like this, put one of these puck antennas on, how would you do it? I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go out and impersonate a bunch of cops. Um, my car is more for fun and more like show, like type, kind of more like a movie car kind of thing. Uh, I'm never going to go out and pull people over because that's insane. But if you were to mount this, I'm kind of curious what your thoughts were. Um, it's kind of like a hockey puck. But thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the video. If you liked it, subscribe. If not, uh, go click on something else. Go watch like Street Speed or somebody. Um, other than that, I'll see you next video. So, the other day, the old dash cam on one of my other vehicles caught something a little interesting. Almost made me wonder if the Impala 9C3 guy is out here in Florida messing around. Kind of looked like his car, but still active. Check it out.